Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. S video versus composite. Go. So S video. What does S stand for, by the way? Super. Really? That's it? Super video? <laughs> Is it really that super? It was at the time. You have to realize that this has all of the components of your video on two conductors. What, the composite? The composite. Okay. The S video has those four pins and a ground on there. So it's basically two cables. Uh, it's basically two RCA cables. Oh, because the RCA cable has two... Right. Okay. So <clears throat> these are sometimes just called C cables. And these are called YC cables. And that's because in this one, the luminance component is broken out. In the S video. In the S video. And be, by doing that, you eliminate a large portion of that dot crawl because... That would be indicative of a, a composite cable. Indicative of a composite cable. And that's because in order to get all the signals onto the line, you map different voltages and so there's a carrier signal. In this one, you have to map all of the components of video. Just make sure you're holding it up enough. When you say this oh, one, you're talking about the composite. I'm sorry, the composite cable. All of the components of the video have to be broken out, mapped onto that signal, and you only get one carrier signal because you've only got two conductors. With a S video or a YC cable, you now have two carrier signals. So you can get effectively twice as much information down the line. And even though they were both 480i technologies, in order to get there, you had to sample the colors at different resolutions. So there's a lot more red in a S-video cable than there is in a composite cable. Hmm. And you don't get the dot crawl because all of those colors are there. And so the resolution is the same across all of the colors of the image. Hmm.